I got a question for you. Do you know what integrity is? Well, if you don't know, let me tell you. Integrity means that you're keeping it real. That you keep it 100, maybe 200 or 300. Integrity means that you're honest with yourself and honest with other people. Integrity means that you say that you're going to do something and you follow through and you actually do what you said that you were going to do. Integrity means that you say what you mean and you mean what you say. Integrity means that our actions line up with our thoughts. It's good to be a person of integrity. Integrity doesn't mean that we won't make mistakes or it doesn't mean that we're perfect. However, what integrity does is if we do make a mistake, integrity tells us to own up to it and to hold ourselves accountable and to learn from those mistakes. And we are going to see a bad example of this in the book of Acts chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. Something that took place with the family, a man and a wife named Ananias and Sapphira. A lot of people showed up one day for church. Let's just use language that we really understand. And because there were a few people around who had less than others and there were some folks who were in need and because people had big hearts and people wanted to share and be there for one another, people started giving some of the gifts and some of the things that they had in order to give them to people who didn't have as much. Pretty cool, right? While the church was supporting its members, we have to know this, everybody had the right to give or not to give. Everybody had the right to give as much as they wanted to give. There was no rule or no obligation that you had to give all of your stuff. But some of these people had hearts so huge, they were given everything that they had. Here's where it gets tricky. And Ananias and Sapphira showed up and they sold a piece of property and they got the money for it. So they showed up to church one Sunday. It maybe wasn't Sunday, but hey, just let's just guess for the sake of the story. They showed up to church with the money that they got from the property that they sold, okay? And they kept some of the money for themselves. Now, that alone wasn't inherently bad, but here is where they lacked integrity. Here's the mistake that they made. Let's say that the land that they had, when they sold it, let's say that they got 500 bucks for it, but they kept $400 for themselves. When they showed up to church and they walked up to the pastor, who was Peter at this time, they gave Peter $100. So Peter asked him a question. He said, hey, is this all of the money that you got from the land that you sold? And they said, yes. That ain't true. They were not honest because while they were giving $100, they gave it as if it was the full amount that they really got, knowing that they really got $500. My friends, boys and girls, this is not integrity. I hate to say it this way, but they lied. They cheated and they stole. What makes this story even worse is that what Ananias and Sapphira did, those were actually behaviors and characteristics of the devil. Ooh. Listen, we all make mistakes from time to time, but let's be people of integrity. Let's tell the truth. Let's be honest with ourselves honest with each other, and most definitely honest with God. Remember, we can learn from Ananias and Sapphira's mistake. You see, they thought 
that they could get away with what they did. But let me tell you something that I learned some time ago from my grandparents. God sees everything that we do. So honestly, there's no point of trying to hide anything. We might as well be honest with ourselves and other people and honest with God, because God knows. We probably can hide things from people sometime, but we can't get away with hiding anything from God. None of the time. So I pray that you and I, no matter how much we may be tempted in this world, that we can be honest and be people of integrity. Turn around, jump around, everybody.